Welcome back to EMC, everyone. We have a very, very cool episode and a special guest of ours, the icon legend, Sean Lee. Hi, guys. All right, he's the uh, founder of The Purist Group. They do some wonderful things uh, for the community, uh, the car world, and also for kids. You know, they got a huge heart. You know, we have three really, really cool cars here. Everyone knows that Ryan uh, is more of the BMW M guy and in our last vlog we talked about the AMG Black Series so this is going to be an incredible vlog. Uh, we also got Samo here uh, from Vast but also one of the cars is actually his. Before we get into that you know I'm just gonna let Sean kind of introduce himself so take it away brother. So my, my name is Sean, I'm founder of the Purist Group. We started a group about 10 years ago with all the car enthusiasts in the United States. And every year we do a lot of charity events to help out the kids, underprivileged kids. The reason why we started because I came from an abusive childhood background by my parents and we decided to do something for the community and society to help these kids to have another chance at life. Uh, from there, now expanding into pretty much worldwide and that's how we have the honor and the pleasure able to work with you guys from EMC and of course Sunny. And uh, it, it's uh, it's amazing experience, but you know, the experience basically tells one thing, cars are not really important. You know, funny how we're gonna say that. It's about what we can get, what kind of friendship we can evolve on our common interests. And that's what it's all about today. Cars and friendship. All right. Um, Cars and friendship, I love that. Yeah, I love right? that, brother. Yeah, uh, yeah well, so, so the last episode we talked about, uh, the next episode was gonna be special. Yeah. So this is what we were talking about. Uh, we have Samuel here, so he has the, you know, E36 M3, that's 321 horsepower. That's actually kind of a unicorn. Uh, I was telling the, the, the boys that I had the 240 horsepower version and the 286 horsepower version, but I've never, ever, ever driven a 321 until today. Thank you so much, Sam. Oh, it's my pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then uh, we also have the E46 M3 CSL, which is super badass. Everyone knew that I had that car. I kind of regret selling it. But uh, thank you, Joe, for lending that to us. And we and have, we have more. a we have a Roy's E30 M3. Uh, that is a 2.3 original, but now it's 2.5 high cams. So it's basically like an Evo, but uh, it's put a lot of heart and soul into this thing. Um, yeah, I mean, really special day. I'm glad that Sean's here. He's kind of like the car Bible guy. So <laughs> he knows pretty much everything. He's probably owned all of these cars before as well. All of us being car enthusiasts, purists, car lovers. What, what do you think about the history of the M cars, you know, dating back to the E30 M3? And you know, just what's your hot take on all these three cars? So E30 M3 being the grandfather of all the M3 before everything started. Homologation car, they want to join the race. BMW was devoted into driving and create a market for the enthusiasts, create an E30 M3. A lot of people think that's a lot of common uh, parts that, uh, that's same as the E30 a 325i or 325is, which is not. Everything, because it's a four cylinder engine, so everything's dedicated to this car. If you look at a rear windshield, even the, even the angle that's slanting down, is completely different than the regular E30 325is coupe. But the funny thing we're talking about was it actually has a sunroof as a homologation of race yeah. cars. Then of course, you know, this is pretty, really an epic episode. Yeah, then you have the E36, which is a Sam did an excellent job doing a lightweight tribute. And then you have the E46 CSL, you know, three legendary M car in what I think. Um, no, no, no mean to disrespect the bigger VA later on. Nose heavy, hard to drive. It kind of kills the fun about being having a lightweight, uh, low horsepower car, momentum cars. And that's what today is all about, momentum cars. All right, so guys, if you're watching, let me know in the comments which M is your favorite. Why don't, why don't we just all pick one? All right, let's start with Sam. What's your favorite M3? It's gotta be the E30. The, the original, okay. yeah, it's gotta be for me. Yeah, okay. I like, I love them all, but I gotta pick one so you're dirty. All right. Well, Ryan is the biggest M guy in the EMC family. So, Ryan, what's your pick, brother? Wow, I don't, I don't know. That's such a hard choice. I, I would probably go with the E30 just because it's more politically correct. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. come on, come on. Wait, oh, E30. E30. Yeah. Okay. 30. All right. It's like E30. Yeah. E30. <laughs> look back in the day. Look at the line on the thing, right? flare off fender, you gotta know people looking at a blank piece of paper go like, wow, this car is at a flare fender, but they add it for a purpose, you know, they, it has to everything be functional, right? They, they create a car in such a small number and they build a lot of parts around a concept. They don't build cars like this anymore. You know, they don't, they don't just take a production car off assembly line and modify it to give it more power and call it, oh, this is a special edition car or the M car. Yeah. The E30 was that. Okay. 
Well, for me, I'm gonna go with the E46 M3 CSL just because I, I had it. it before. Uh, but also, it, for me, it represents modernization and classic kind of smashed into one. And then they were just kind of testing out different technologies and also with the carbon fiber roof. Um, I know it's not the manual and maybe out of the four guys right here, I'm the worst manual driver. However, it just represents evolution. And I think, you know, we also got to cater towards whatever these, the new young generation kids are really into now. But I mean, we're, Yo, a bunch of, we're a bunch of old heads right here, bro. You gotta bro. drop a manual transmission into that CSL, and you now we're fucking talking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what someone should do, yeah. you know? Uh, before we get to the cars and go for a drive, why don't we just pop the hood, um, check out the engine bays. Let's okay. do it. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. Let's show the viewers. All right. Example of Okay, well, I mean, obviously this car's not mine, so I'll, I don't do it justice, but uh, I know that uh, it is 2.5 instead of 2.3. It does have high cams, and uh, because of that, he has a new uh, ECU. Because the the you gotta understand, this car's 30 years old, man. The original ECU was so fucking dumb. The car is kept in reasonably, well, I, I would say, really good condition for a 30 plus year old car, right? This was this is a 1990, 1990. So it's what 33 years? 33 years. Sean, the, the, the shot, Sean, can you tell us? Need the Bible. Yeah. What Does this come from the Evo or? This come from the Evo. This come from the Evo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of love have got, has gotten into this car. Um, and when you drive it, when you get behind the wheel, you can totally tell. Did a good job, guy. Yeah. Well, let's move on to the uh, 321. Owner's here. Yeah, owner. Please tell us. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, well I mean, not much okay, to so say. This is the this is, yeah, so the only thing in here is just suspension. Okay. But um, engine is all stock, 321. Um, you know, the the right one with the ITVs. I, I, I used to live in LA, so I, I grew up with the with the 240 as well. Yeah. Right, yeah. non-ITV. So yeah. this is a unicorn for me, and yeah. honestly, it was my uh, it was my favorite color growing up, Estoril blue. And then uh, in the states, um, when you when they order Estoril blue, it's usually it comes with a dove white interior. Okay. So it's kind of rare to see Estoril blue on black. So I don't know. So to me, it's just like ah, kind of perfect. What but, exhaust does this have on? So is this stock? Uh, no, it no, has a uh, has super sprint exhaust. Super sprint, ah, yeah. Super sprint yeah. Correct. Cat back. Yeah. yeah. He's correct. being humble. Actually, he has a MCS suspension on there, which is really, really good. You know, it's yeah. not cheap either. So yeah. it's, uh, a lot of right now, a lot of uh, professional circuit racers are, are using this right. So. Nice. Well, I did notice a theme. All three cars have BBS wheels. <laughs> yeah. Which is a good thing. It's a must. And it's period correct too. Yeah. Of the three. Well, Sean, do you want to tell us about the uh, the CSL engine? So, different. Actually, this CSL engine has actually been using by a wide variety of Astra M Sports cars, so it's actually one of the most reliable engines, except for certain stuff you have to update. <laughs> CSL what makes it beautiful, of course, look, right, factory racing, yeah, look, look at that, yeah. it creates beautiful sound. For evolution of the M car, for the sound of it, I like this car, except for the exhaust side, it's a little raspy sometimes on a higher RPM. Yeah. That's been, even though you change the exhaust, it's still a little bit raspy, but this is one of the early cars that before they go into big V8, and also still be straight six naturally aspirated ITV, but they start doing a lot, of, a lot more focus on lightweighting the car and more focus on handling. So you notice that the car starts start getting a little wider, a little longer, but they're trying to reduce the weight on sprung weight on top. They start doing carbon fiber roof. Mm -hmm. And I know that this is aluminum. If you, I mean, yeah. you, you can't see it on a camera, but this thing is light, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so they did a lot, a lot of focus on reducing the weight and how to make the car better handling and transferring of the weight is very important. Because the car is getting heavier from yeah, yeah. that generation to this course, generation. I think anything after this, again, sorry for the VA guys, I don't think they should put an M badge on there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it's cool. Right. Well, I think this will be the last heritage legacy M, 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 M cars in the world and straight six naturally aspirated. Just hopefully it's a manual and, and that'll be perfect. And I, and I hear this car's up for sale. So if oh, anybody wow, yeah. is uh, interested, hit us up in the comments. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so let's go for a drive, but before we go for a drive, why don't the three of us get into the cars, turn it up, do a few blips, just okay. to hear what each car sounds like. I know that everyone wants to hear it, so.
Oh, first man. donut. Hey, first donut in the mountains of Taiwan. <laughs> so wrong, but so right. <laughs> All right, man, that was good. Enjoyed it? Yeah. Thank you, man. No problem. Have fun. Glad you have fun. <laughs> Remember, go drive your car more often. Don't let it stay in the garage. Come out with a bunch of friends. Do this. And that's why. So remember that. Uh, go drive your car, it's only taking you to the full you said me. It's just fake on the Okay? So enjoy, watch more EMC. Hopefully I'll do more with you guys in the future. Peace out. That was fucking fun. <laughs> First drive! I'm Mr. Shine. Yeah. <laughs> Inside one. Oh yeah, how'd you like the mountain roads here? I loved it. Small section, but it was fun. Well, I loved it because you driving with you guys, man. Oh, Thank you. He was, he was hauling ass. I was trying. I was trying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was so scared to miss shift though, because I'm still not used to this gearbox. <laughs> well, uh, you guys are killing it. You guys are killing it. Funny. Well, hopefully this is the first of many with you. Uh, yeah. We, we, there's much more roads we would like to take you on. Uh, I love to, and, yeah. uh, and yeah, yeah, but no, but what'd you think? What'd you think, honestly, about the car and, and just the drive here and how you feel? I shot a lot of video in my life. This is by far the most epic video I've ever seen. Two, yeah. you guys, first of all, you guys are two great drivers. Thank you, sir. Right? And uh, you're able to push this car a little bit, not to the point it's crazy, yeah. but you, you, you could see the, the dynamic of the car. Yeah. And, and, and the third car has a camera, all the cars, how it's moving, right? So yeah. I can't wait to see the footage of yeah. that. Yeah, it's you know, dope. All three car dives into the corner together, three generations yeah. of the M Sports. And uh, we're here today and we're good friends in Taiwan. Can you believe it? Yeah. Well, no, we're, we're really happy that you came on our vlog. You know, I just wanted to say thank you. And uh, hopefully, uh, EMC, we can do something with the Purist Group. You know, we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. But before we go, uh, you guys are seeing us wear the new Empire Motor Club BMW M t-shirts. Uh, that's gonna be out really soon, so go get yours. And uh, you know what? We are going to do something because we all love cars and our passion is with cars and everything and what you do inspires us. So we will uh, gather a bunch of toys and we're gonna donate it to a couple of the orphanages in Taiwan because that's what you do in uh, the US and also worldwide. So we're gonna follow in your footsteps and we're gonna try our best and hopefully we'll get together and do a collaboration. Thank you so much for doing that. All right. Yeah, this is the shapings of a perfect day. Yeah, yes. man. Yeah, look at this. All right. So last but not least, everyone, Go comment, let us know what your favorite BMW M car is, and we're gonna pick three lucky winners. We're gonna give out some of these t-shirts. Good luck, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Go ahead and drive. All right. Brother, thank Perfect. you so much. How you doing, brother? Yeah, no, 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 that's what I do. I'm glad you had fun. I'm just, I'm just